Google Classroom is one of those great apps that can really kickstart integrating technology in your classroom. Check out this video on how to use Stream in your classroom. When you open up Google Classroom, it automatically takes you to the stream. On the left side, it will show any upcoming assignments that are due. If you click see all, it will show you all of those assignments that are upcoming. Right now, we don't have any. So we'll go back to our stream. If you click on share something with your class, you can choose to share it with multiple classes if you have those available. So you don't have to repost the same thing multiple times. You can narrow it down so that you are only sharing it with certain students. And you can type in your announcement. You can then share an attachment or something from your drive. You can share a YouTube video or you can share a link. So we're going to share a link. So we'll open up a new window and go grab that link so that we can copy it. Now we can add that link into our announcement and there's a drop down menu that we can post it immediately or we can schedule it for some time in the future. So you can front load some posts and schedule those so that they'll post in the future. You can also save it as a draft if you're not ready to post it quite yet. We're going to post this right away so you can see that that link is now ready to go. You can edit, delete, or copy a link to this post from those three dots on the right. We're going to go into another classroom to see what a more uh, filled out stream looks like. So this one, this classroom has had assignments posted and questions and materials. You can see from the icons what each of those looks like. And then there's an announcement down at the bottom. So you can see when assignments are posted in classwork, they also show up in the stream. And then announcements look like the one at the bottom. You can also add comments to announcements. So if you have something to add to an announcement, you can post that as a comment. You can also change the settings so that students can post in the stream to share resources or that students can comment as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel and check out the next video in our playlist.